Keeping in mind Lenin's point that you can learn from your mistakes, it is amazing to see how Austrian predictions about the socialist economy were echoed in the quotes by the Soviet leaders and planners and by the sympathetic witnesses. So Mises said that planners, that a socialist management of production, planners wouldn't know whether their plans were efficient and planners would operate in the dark, as it were. Now, Barbara Wooten, who is a sympathetic observer, during the 1930s wrote about how the Supreme Economic Council had to make guesses in the dark for the exact same reason. They were speaking about the same thing and they happened to use the exact same words to describe what it was like for Soviet planners. And even more specifically, Mises, again speaking about essentially the same problem, used the railroads as an example. And Mises said, picture the building of a new railroad. Should it be built at all? And if so, which out of a number of conceivable roads should be built? And so on and so forth. Now, Trotsky in the 1930s, but speaking about the war communism period, used the same example because it was something they had actually had this problem at the time, specifically the problem with railways. Trotsky said that by following a plan, they ran the risk of losing all control over or all information about what was necessary and what was not what was profitable and what was not, he even termed, because he, of course he's thinking about costs and benefits. And he said which line should be expanded and which one contracted. They had none of this information. And he concluded by saying only by maintaining a profit and loss balance between the various sectors of the railway network and coupled with the same sort of balance among other branches of the economy so that they would have prices to work with looking at their inputs and making comparisons and so on and so forth. Now Trotsky did say that it was only for the time being that they would need this, but you have to sort of see it as the only reason that it would only be for the time being is because he had faith that eventually they would learn or would be able to overcome this problem maybe after human nature had changed and so on.